Hey guys, this is Ty with NerdRush TV. I'm at Long Beach Comic Con with the cast and crew of Occupants of the Movie. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Julia Cameron and I'm the screenwriter of Occupants. Okay. Timothy Lee Conley, I am. I did some voice work in Occupants the film and I also am attached to the comic book tie-in and I was a model for the uh, main character. Okay. And I'm uh, Rusty Manio, I'm the director of Occupants and also the writer of the comic book. Okay, and again, I don't know who to direct for the questions, but uh, where did the idea of Occupants come from? I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, so, I'm a big sci-fi fan and I wanted to do something that was simple, you know, just two, basically two people, one location, and still make it sci-fi, so that's sort of how I counter-engineered the story. Uh, and you know, I'm a filmmaker aside from being a writer, so I model that the, the main character, Annie, after me a little bit. She's a filmmaker, she's making a movie. Uh, and the, through the process of like, okay, so she's videotaping, what's happening exactly? That's when this idea of like, oh, what if she accidentally videotaped a parallel reality? Um, and so that was the main genesis of the, the project. Okay. And how long how long had you worked on it before you got to the, the final stage? So the the first the very first draft I wrote on a plane ride from LA to Brazil. I'm originally from Brazil, I was visiting family. So I wrote about eighty percent of that first draft in that twelve hour flight. And then it took me another three to four months to complete it and polish it and rewrite it. Uh, but it, it happened really fast. I think it wasn't even even um, six months later, I was talking to Howard Nash, our producer, um, and the, the rest is history. Then, you know, Russ came along, and now we have a really cool movie. All right, awesome. And you said you, you provided some of the voices and also for the comic book tie-in. Did the, uh, did the, what came first, the comic, or I'm assuming the, the movie came first, right? Yeah, the, the movie came first. Uh, from the movie, from... Uh, building the parallel universe and having other cases because we have not just our specific case and that's something that Russ brought in like he really developed the other cases the other parallel universe stories uh, then that's where the comic book came from okay and and what, what role did you play in and how did you get involved in the project well uh, Russ our director here originally approached me about uh, you know doing some voice work uh, the husband in one of the scenes, uh, the lead actor, uh, he is watching a sports game and Russ did not know much about how the whole broadcasting world worked and how it, how the, what the sounds would be in, in a particular sports game. So I kind of actually helped him write that out and then myself and our uh, sound engineer, we actually were, uh, the brought, we got to have a little fun in the sound booth and had, were the broadcasters for the game. And as far as the comic book is concerned, um, there's a lot of interviews, what we call testimonials for the Peterson Research Institute. I don't want to tell too much about yeah, what's yeah. going on, but uh, I was one of the testimonials and I happen to be uh, that I am in real life a professor and a Los Angeles based prof uh, professor and uh, so that became the, the story that was picked to loosely based off of my life to tell the story uh, in the comic book tie-in. So. Okay, what, uh, what do you teach? What, what? I teach film and media courses. Okay. Um, I've taught at three different campuses. Currently, I'm on USC and Santa Monica College. Awesome. And had you done voice work prior to this? Yeah, I've been uh, doing some voice acting since about 2005, and I've done some acting since I was probably 13 years old, so I've been around the business for a while. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And I'll ask you, uh, any, any? I, I had heard that they're going to move on to a sequel potentially, so did you yeah. want to talk about that? I'm going to walk over here. Yeah. Well, let's see, there's uh, been a lot of demand for this film. I'm very grateful. I met, look, Julia here, she wrote a wonderful script, and, uh, no, you're welcome, it's true. And, you know, Timothy here has been very supportive of the project. That's why I wanted to include him in the uh, comic book tie-in that we have. But basically, um, you know, we won the uh, second place prize uh, at the Phoenix Comic Con Film Festival. We won the Best Director Prize at the Florida Supercom Film Festival, which, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful about that. And then we've been in, like, the LA Times, the Huffington Post. Uh, we're going to be playing at Shriekfest, which is one of the top horror festivals, and uh, the Downtown Los Angeles Film Festival coming up this Friday at the 20, on the 23rd at 9 p.m. Anybody wants to come, please? <laughs> and that's at the Regal Live, and it's a really big event. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's, I'm just going with the flow. And a lot of people have said they wanted to see a sequel. So 
the producer, he um, greenlit the sequel once the, our main actors do were really, really for it. And, you know, he said, you know what, let's do a sequel. So Howard Nash, thank you, <laughs> our producer. Awesome. And, and how has that process been to, to sort of get the film out there and the distribution and marketing and everything? Oh, it's been uh, it's been a ride, literally. I mean, I've been on plane rides. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I you know, we were at Rose City Comic Con uh, at Portland, Oregon last weekend, and then I went to Toronto, where our, the film was playing at the Toronto Independent Film Festival. Now I'm back here, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's going to be playing at places like Louisville, Kentucky, or Kansas International Film Festival. And you know, it's just you know, it, it, to get it out there, it takes a lot of work. You know, we have to um, show up to events like this, which I'm really grateful that Long Beach Comic Con offered us a panel, and to people like you, I mean, you too. I mean, it's just you know, you offer us interviews to be able to you know get the word out there. So you know, I'm just you know very very happy. Um, I'm just going to go with the flow and just try to publicize it. All right. Well, we thank you for you know oh, no, no, making great. time to interview us. So uh, tell us about what you're going to be doing at the the panel. Are we going to see the movie? I mean, tell tell us about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to show clips of the movie. We're going to um, uh, show behind the scenes. We're going to show a blooper reel. Uh, we're going to show some of the comic book pages so people get a sneak peek because it's not done yet. We're actually going to unveil the comic book at the Phoenix Comic Con Fan Fest, okay. which is on October 22nd. And our artist is Dave Beatty, DC Marvel Comics artist, nice. and he's busy drawing as we speak. Literally, today he's drawing it right now. <laughs> so uh, we're going to show snippets of that. So about 14 of the 24 pages are completed. And then uh, we're going to talk about the sequel because that is kind of big news, you know, and uh, Julia and I have had extensive conversations, so we're going to be able to, uh, I guess, unveil that. Also, you're going to be able to meet more of the crew and the cast are going to be showing up. So, okay. you're going to, yeah, you're going to, there's going to be a lot of meet and greet, so. Awesome. Uh, and as far as the comic book goes, was that always sort of the plan when you were, uh, this might be a better question for you, I'm not sure, um, was it always sort of the plan to have a comic book tie-in, or is that something that just came up out of... Like, tell, tell me about that. Well, you should thank associate producer Eric Kask, who used to run the Phoenix Comic Con Film Festival. And he's big into comic books, and he's the one who brought up the idea more than once. It's like, Russ, you should do a comic, com comic book tie-in. I mean, Timothy here was uh, telling us, uh, telling you that there are testimonial videos that we filmed, right? About 35 testimonials. And so he's like, uh, Eric is like, there's a lot of possibility here. We're dealing with parallel universes, you know, and then we could take this in many different directions. So I'm thinking, you know what? Let's give it a go because he knew the artist Dave Beatty. And also Brian Miller, our colorist, he's gonna be here at the panel. And uh, we're gonna show the colored version of the uh, main poster, I guess, if you will. Okay. And so yeah, that's all, you know, it's, it, it, over time, it just, we went with the flow and, you know, it just seemed the right time to make a comic book and there will be more. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So. So if anybody wants to watch the movie, where is it available? Is it available? Yeah, so we got distribution with ITN Distribution, um, uh, helmed by Stuart Olson. I actually met him at Toronto. He was at the International Film Festival there. And he's busy selling the film. So I, this is my fourth feature film. This is actually my fifth time working with Robert Picardo. Every film has got distribution. And my previous films are on DVD, Blu-ray, Amazon Prime, uh, you know, got a theatrical release in Germany. So whatever happened for the previous films, I assume is going to happen for this film. So it's not out yet, but it will be. But people can see it at the two upcoming screenings. Yes, that is right, Julia. So there are two upcoming screening, screenings. Um, in Los Angeles uh, this Friday at the Regal Live at 9 p.m. Please oh, show up. 23rd. Yes, September 23rd. And then uh, that's the Downtown Los Angeles Film Festival. And then Shriekfest Film Festival. That's uh, Friday, October 7th at 8.45 p.m. And those are the choice slots, as in they are the best slot of the festival. And I, I'm telling you, just please come. Everybody come. Yeah. Seriously, you will not be disappointed. And you may, you may get scared. Yeah. In a good way. <laughs> awesome. So they were talking sequels. Any chance you'll be? Uh, have they talked to you about coming back for the early mates that you you I'm made an appearance in the uh, the comic book? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hoping I get a little. My character gets a little love in the, in the sequel, but uh, I I don't know if it's been announced what's happening yet. I can honestly say Julia and I yesterday have been talking about your character, Timothy. Yeah. Okay. Right. So <laughs> you're already here first. <laughs> I'm learning too. Yeah. There you go. I, a website. If you guys want to plug yeah. your website. OccupantsTheMovie.com So that's Occupants, plural, TheMovie.com And you can see everything on there, including the comic book tie-in. 
Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. We'll move over here. Uh, as far as the sequel goes, are you uh, have you already sort of started started writing that, drawing it out? Do you know plot details or anything? So I have started. Yeah, we definitely have uh, most of the plot figured out. Uh, I've started outlining it. I'm not done with the outline yet. I don't think I'll get a chance to do it in a 12-hour flight this time around. It will take me longer, mostly because I have a small child and three other projects that I'm doing at the same time. Uh, but yeah, if I, if I could, I would love this. Like, send me, send me somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Put me on a plane for 12 hours. Maybe I'll get some writing done. Uh, but most of the outline is finished, and I, I'm hoping by early next year we'll have a first draft. So. Okay, awesome. Well, listen, I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to send her to the parallel universe. <laughs> she can get a lot of writing done there. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I'm really well, not. <laughs> I'm really not going to get any writing done there because when you see the movie, you'll understand. The parallel universe is no friend to the creative people. <laughs> The name of the show is Nerd Rush. So I want to ask each of you, what do you guys nerd out about? Ooh, Star Wars. <laughs> does that does that count? Does that count? Uh, yeah, I, I, I have a BB-8 purse here today. But I, I also Star Trek. Can it be both? Because uh, I also have an awesome Uhura outfit that I wore to the Portland Comic Con, and we'll probably be wearing it for Halloween. So yeah. Okay, awesome. What do you nerd out about? Mm, Star Wars, it is. <laughs> Always Star Wars. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> And for you? Well, since we have Robert Picardo <laughs> in our film, I'm going to say Star Trek. <laughs> There's always got to be one, right? One dissenting. <laughs> All right, well, listen, again, I appreciate you guys thank you. meeting with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, I'm Julia Cameron. Timothy Lee Conley. It's Russ Emanuel, and this is Nerd Rush. <laughs>